Now, Eurozone finance ministers have finally approved a four-month extension to Greece's bailout agreement. The deal has been well received by the markets, with stocks in both New York and London closing at record highs. Well, the journalist Philip Pangalos joins me now live from Athens. Very good of you to join me on uh, Sky World News. So what do ordinary Greeks make of this? Has Syriza uh, delivered on all of its election pledges? Well, there's a lot of relief here, but it's certainly been a baptism of fire for Alexis Tsipras' uh, Syriza government. They've only been in power for was barely a month now. Uh, they've been caught between a, a rock and a hard place trying to negotiate with the Europeans and their international creditors on one hand, and on the other hand trying to keep their pre-election promises to end up end austerity and tear up the, the bailout agreement. But reality was, with the banks running low on cash, as Greeks got nervous and been withdrawing cash from their bank accounts, and it's thought that more than 20 billion euros has left Greek bank deposits in the last couple of months, they were desperate to do a deal and, and keep funding going. So, yeah, they've gone back on a lot of their promises, but I think they had very little choice, especially with the Germans playing hardball and insisting that they stick to previous agreements. But the fact that they've got this four-month extension is a effectively a lifeline for the banks because they're likely to get continued funding from the European Central Bank and it's expected that the ECB will in the in the coming days turn around and accept Greek bonds as collateral again which will give breathing space to the Greek banks but at the same time they've kept some of their promises in that uh, at least they have their own destiny in the hand they get to choose which reforms they make and they, the Greek government here is claiming that um, they don't have recessionary measures because remember the Greek economy has shrunk by something like 25% in the last five years of very tough austerity and uh, they're trying to take social measures as well with unemployment at 25%, youth unemployment at 50% and poverty levels approaching what's thought to be nearly 40%. So very difficult because they're also trying to keep their uh, their MPs happy and we've also had, had a little bit of dissent from some senior leftist MPs within Syriza. But uh, the reality is I think people are relieved and we saw that with the markets as well yesterday. As you said, the Athens Stock Exchange gained nearly 10% yesterday on news that the Eurogroup had given the green light for this four-month extension. Yeah, well, we know it's a lifeline for the banks, but what about ordinary Greeks as well? Can you give us any concrete examples of, of what impact it will have on their life? Well, a huge relief that the banks will stay, uh, will, will carry on operating normally because there were concerns with funds running low that the Greeks might have been forced to in impose capital controls, something similar to what we saw in Cyprus a couple of years ago. So there's relief that the banking sector is safe, certainly for the time being. Uh, a bit of disappointment that another government has been voted in with making lots of promises before the elections and has had to renege on some of them. At the same time, I think people are being realistic and saying there was no other way to do anything else uh, for the time being. There will be some uh, some scope for improvement in that one of the details that sort of be left a little bit vague is this primary surplus that everybody's talking about, where in the past the previous agreement had said that Greece had to keep a primary surplus of 3% this year and 4.5% next year. Now, the wording in the agreement has been left vague with the Greeks hope, hoping that they'll be given leeway to have a smaller primary surplus and therefore spend some of that money on social funding, creating some new jobs, helping the poor. Uh, they're already talking about uh, free electricity and free food for the very hard hit, the people who can't afford to, to feed themselves, people who are going to, to soup kitchens or the people who can't afford to pay for their electricity. But um, a lot of the other measures are going to be difficult for now. Um, and the focus has certainly been on things like cracking down on corruption and tax evasion. Now, these are things that Greece's international creditors are very keen on. But the reality is with these sort of problems, which are endemic and have been problems for decades in Greece, is it takes time to actually enforce these measures. And it takes even longer to get money coming through so you can actually spend it on social spending, all the sort of things that uh, Syriza promised to do, okay. like reinstating Philip, we have wage. to leave it there. Philip Pangalas, many thanks for your time.